All forms of worship or prayer must draw man closer to God. Full of Saki, October 22, by Hazrat Anayat Khan. Commentary by Pira Mershan Anayat Khan. Man breathes, but he does not breathe rightly. As the rain falls on the ground and matures little plants and makes the soil fertile, so the breath, the essence of all energy, falls as a rain on all parts of the body. This also happens in the case of the mind, but man cannot even perceive that part of the breath that quickens the mind. Only that felt in the body is perceptible. And to the average man, it is not even perceptible in the body. He knows nothing of it, except what appears in the form of inhalation and exhalation through the nostrils. It is this alone which is generally meant when man speaks of breath. When we study the science of breath, the first thing we notice is that breath is audible. It is a word in itself. For what we call a word is only a more pronounced utterance of breath fashioned by the mouth and tongue. In the capacity of the mouth, breath becomes voice. And therefore, this original condition of a word is breath. Therefore, if we said, first was breath, it would be the same as saying, in the beginning was the word. The first life that existed was the life of God, and from that all manifestation branched out. It is a manifold expression of one life, one flower blooming as so many petals, one breath expressing itself as so many words. The sacred idea attached to the lotus flower is expressive of this same philosophy. It is symbolizing the many lives in the one God and expressed in the Bible in the words, in God we live and move and have our being. When man is separated from God in thought, his belief is of no use to him. His worship is but of little use to him. For all forms of worship or belief should draw man closer to God and that which man may which and that which makes man separate from God has no value. When man is separated from God in thought, his belief is of no use to him. His worship is but of little use to him, for all forms of worship or belief should draw man closer to God, and that which makes man separate from God has no value. 